What is up everybody, the Ryman here, coming to you with another new Let's Play. This is called Always Sometimes Monsters, because, you know, aren't we all always sometimes monsters? That's the question I ask myself every day, my word. So, this is actually interesting. Um, this is an indie game, this was titled as like an RPG sort of game where choice was heavily influenced, like... With every choice comes a consequence. You can play different kinds of characters with different genders, sexualities, um, ethnicities, and that affects the storyline. And the fun thing is, the store page is listed with warnings like, Warning! If you're offended by homophobia, racism, sexism, child abuse, verbal abuse, sexual abuse, you don't want to play this game. So, yeah, sounds like my kind of game. Holy shit. No, but uh, in all honesty, the aspect of this game being so heavily influent on choice, like, having it be such a big factor, I'm interested to see where this goes. From what it looks like, this is an RPG Maker game, but I'm completely okay with that. As long as this is a good quality game, I don't care where it was made. It could have been made on the back of a cereal box, and I don't care. So let's give this a go. It took me a while to figure out how to record, by the way. <laughs> because of the whole... I'm actually having to use, like, OBS, not DX3, because DX3 refuses to, like, record this. So weird. Stop! Wait! Oh shit. Enter. Where the hell do you think you're running off to without me? I'm the boss. Sorry about that, um, I forgot my Skype was open and I'm actually doing monitor capture, not, uh, I'm game capture, cause game capture doesn't record this either. Hooray. I'm the boss, so you don't make a move until I tell you what to do. Got it? I thought I told you already. Once I'm paid, then we're through. I don't need you controlling me anymore. No. You ain't finished working yet. There's plenty of people I still need killed. Whoa, what? You don't get a say in anything until I decide you're done spilling blood. You checked that privilege at the door when you signed up for this job. Here I make the rules. Here I decide what happens. That's what you signed up for, right? Oh, I get to move now. Holy shit. How do I... Well, if there's more money you want, all you gotta do is ask for it. Name your price, I'll pay it. Whatever it takes to knock some sense back into your head. I don't want any more of your money. Please note, I don't remember how to play RPG Maker games on my keyboard. I'm pretty sure... I'm hitting Z to progress the dialogue, but I have no idea how to bring up, like, the main menu. Oh boy. I don't want any more of your money. I already have more than I need. Why can't you understand why someone might not want to do this anymore? Hey, what did I just tell you? You ain't going anywhere unless I say so. Alright, I'll play ball. How do I convince you not to make a very stupid decision right now? What do I want? I want my goddamn freedom back. No more tell me where to, what to do, where to go, who to kill. I'm deciding for myself from now on. He is not letting me go, is he? I'm telling you, you're making a mistake. Don't do something we'll all regret. Don't be an idiot. Don't do something you'll regret. Let's go. Excuse me, sirs. Got a minute or a dollar? Hard times all around. Smelly vag vagabond fuck. Get the hell out of my way. We don't have anything for you. Oh, I've heard that one before. Probably from you too. Different day, different street. Who knows, maybe we used to know each other. Heh. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Winding up back here again? 
Goddamn, Schizo. Are you fucked in the head? Get the hell out of my way. Alright, we gotta keep things moving along. Before you go, though, there's something I think you ought to take a look at. Oh, shit. He's armed. What the hell is this? Well, you might say I've been expecting you. Does it feel familiar standing on this end of the barrel? Or would you feel more comfortable with your own piece drawn? Go ahead. I'll wait. That's right. Aim it right between my eyes. What the hell do you want, you nut job? What do I want? I like playing games, don't you? What do you say to giving mine a spin? I don't know what this fool's smoking, but if he doesn't put that gun down right now, you put a hole in his head. Of course, you can hurry this all along if you like, and we can all be done with it if you wish. Like any of this matters anyway. I want to tell you a story, though. One about the many choices we all make. At the end of it, you can decide what to do. The only rule in the game? Let me finish. No interruptions. Then the choice is yours. Or we can pull the trigger right now. Sounds a lot less time-consuming, doesn't it? Either way, the choice is always yours. I don't like the doctor guy, so I'm just gonna go with the decision that will piss him off. If you won't put the gun down, that gun down, fine. Talk fast. Wow, this game started off on a really s startling note. There are many roads between your, yours and mine. I barely got to read that. You ever been dragged to a party by someone? What if that party was life itself? Led by the nose, barely wanting to take part. Did you even have the choice not to go? It would take something miraculous to change you. But would you know the opportunity when it not? Fair weather friends are sometimes hard to sort. A man with opportunity to spare knows this best. One such man of opportunity threw a party. He was looking for someone special, important. Not a lover, not a friend. He was looking for someone of substance. That's me, I'm full of substance, baby. Whether it was the right choice or not, that's still up for debate. That night, they toasted ambition, success, and more. Little did they know how steep the mountain was. How deep the rabbit hole goes. Oh wait, I'm quoting Matrix now. Oh, am I controlling? Oh. Come on, hurry up. Or did you change your mind? You can't invite all these people over and just leave me to take care of them, Lily. Larry. They're all weird. Why can't they have normal friends? They're all work friends, darling. Writers, artists, wannabes. You know, like the ones I keep t was telling you about? Boss wants me to sign someone by next week, but I still haven't a clue what I'm looking for. I'll just pick someone who's going to do a good job. I don't want you getting fired over some fuck up. This apartment's way too nice for that. Yeah, okay, I love you too. Hey, go easy on the booze tonight, alright? One drink limit, okay? So all these characters, I'm guessing, are like... playable characters? Great party, Larry! Really glad I could make it. Well, I'm glad you're here too. Did I tell you about this red wine I found? Give me a second, I'll go get some for you. We can toast. It'll be great. The wife says I can't have more than one tonight. Then again, I'm a sucker for good vintage. Maybe later. Gotta see who else is here. I guess I'll be able to choose. Hey, Larry. Congratulations on the new job. Thanks. It's been a long time coming. Well earned, though. What do you say to toasting? I've got this gin I want to polish off. So I, excuse me, I'm sorry. So I will admit I did look at like the first 10 minutes of this game from another Let's Player, 
who got this game ahead of time. I was curious, so I, I wanted to see if it would be like worth the money. It looked interesting, and I know for a fact that if I toast, I'm probably going to get stuck with a character. Not sure, but I don't want to take any chances. Larry, congratulations! I heard about the new job! Man, she just looks way, way too seductive in that pose. She's like, hmm, hey, congratulations. Show the cleavage. Well, there's still a lot to do. Nonsense, let's toast to your success. Can I interest you in some white wine? I'll only be having one drink tonight. White wine does sound lovely, though. <laughs> I'll love it if every single person in here has a different type of alcohol to give him. How's your evening going? Oh, Larry. Happy birthday, man. Thank you. Is your night alright? Yeah, great party. Just sipping on this bottle of brandy. Did you want some? Hmm. Yep, it kind of seems like it. Larry, thanks for inviting me. It's been too long since we've caught up. Hopefully next time it won't be so long. Well, while I got your attention, I got this bottle of scotch. <laughs> Wanna help? Oh god, maybe I should base who I pick purely on the type of alcohol they have. Larry, man! What's happening? It's all good? Just enjoying the party? Right on, let's celebrate. I've got some vodka we can toast. I'm just going through all my options. Whoa, Larry! Great apartment! Ah, huh, the wife picked it out. She doing well? We should toast to her health. I've brought this rum for you. Rum does do wonderful things to me. I don't know who I'm going to pick. There's so many options. I have food from earlier. Where did you get it? You'd have to ask Belinda. I've got no idea. You're really lucky to have her. We should toast. Celebrate the night. I've brought a bottle of tequila. Oh my god. Are they serious? Are they really going to list off like every single kind of alcohol? Hey, happy birthday! Other than the new job, you got anything else? Anything from the wife? Do lectures count? Don't bother with that. Live it up! I've got this bottle of bourbon we can toast. Oh my god. Hmm, nice kitty. They're being cereal. Whoa, happy birthday, pal! How old are you now, anyway? I prefer not to check. Well then, let's toast to ignorance. I've got a couple of beers if you're interested. Tonight I'll only be having one drink. Maybe keep it simple with a beer? No. You... <laughs> you decided not to be the main character when you offered me beer. If you're gonna give me something, give me a whoa. Hey, Larry! I see you got a cat running around here like it owns the place! How come you told me I couldn't bring my dog? Whoa, man, that's a cool dog. Thanks, man. Oh, oh there's no dog there. <laughs> Firstly, I have no idea whose cat that is. Secondly, last time you brought your dogs around, they cornered me and wouldn't stop barking until you fed them those donuts. Don't worry, dude. They used to hate me, too. That's because they don't like assholes, Justin. Larry, I think they can just smell your fear. Next time, I'll let you feed them the donut. Oh, I can't pick these characters? Hmm. Larry, there you are. Help us settle the debate. Dude, he's not gonna like it! Are you guys talking about that game thing again? All we want to know is if you'd ever play a game where you might not wind up being the hero. The game where I might not be the hero? Hmm. Well, it depends. I guess it depends on the situations. See, I told you people would love it. Oh, that's just one opinion! Plus, Larry doesn't count! No offense. Untaken? <laughs> what the hell am I doing? I started getting all, like, violent sounding. Hey, you're the host of this party, right? Yeah, I am. Can I get you anything? Well, I was wondering if you had any unoccupied bedrooms around here. Uh, I don't think so. Why? Oh. No. Definitely not. Oh, never mind. Durkos brought his van anyway. Great. Uh, have fun? Oh, I will. 
I'm pressing different buttons. I'm wondering how I bring up, like, the menu. I'm never gonna know, am I? Hey, man, good to see you. The party's pretty packed. You don't say. Why don't we take a second and toast? I got this bottle of whiskey. This is... This is fascinating. I've spent most of my time just seeing what all the alcohol options are. Happy birthday, dude. Hope you don't mind. I brought you a gift. It's really kind of you. Absinthe, man. Good shit. Imported from France. Well, I'm only having one tonight. I've never had real absinthe before, though. Wow, that's a thing. So these are my options in here, right? I'm not sure which one I'm going to pick. I guess I'll pick this dude. Whoa, Larry. Great apartment. She doing well? We should toast her health. I brought this rum for you. Alright, let's do it. Alright, let's drink. Give me a second to run to the patio. There's something I want, someone I want you to meet. Always happy to meet the ball and chain. Don't go anywhere, Larry. I'll be back from the patio before you know it. Sorry I haven't been around, Dave. Just been busy, I guess. I'll catch you later, though. Gotta go to the party, though. Wow, different dialogue for him, too. Her name is Joel? I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, for God's sakes, there's... I wasn't even aware that my name could be used in the feminine, like, context. Hey, you still dating your little hottie? You two are such a nice couple. Heck, yeah, Kevin. Still together. In fact, that's who I'm looking for now. Oh, okay. I'm guessing that, um... What? what? Keep it real, Maui Chi? Yeah, you keep you keeping it real. I'll be back to chat in a second. Just got running out back. The littlest hobo part dukes? I doubt we could get this licensing. The names are terrible. Hmm. I guess this is where I decide who my uh, love interest is. Oh my god, there's so many options. Ooh, steak. Mmm, that chicken smells good. I could use another beer, but I gotta find my baby first. Larry's waiting on me. Hey, did he get a chance to talk to Larry yet? Ah! Waiting on us, waiting on me. Robot suit's amazing. I think it's hot and sweaty, but worth it. How do we look? We sound okay? Yeah, it's great, don't worry. Thanks, how you doing? Eh, can't complain. What are you and Darkif up to? Nothing too much. You didn't tell me he was a musician. Dude, we should jam or something. Hell yeah, for sure. We could totally throw a killer show together. Kind of seems like most of it is going to be like kind of generic responses. Hey, did you get a chance to talk to Larry yet? Yeah. Waiting on me. Ooh. She was kind of hot. She kind of good looking too. So many choices. I didn't get a chance to look over her. Hmm. I should take the time to admire- Whoa! Okay. Damn, he was muscular. Hey, did he get a chance to talk to Larry yet? Wow. I would not pick this guy. He just seems like that typical, like, boring businessman type guy. Um... Dude, let's go. <laughs> let's go for this guy right here. Holy shit. 
Hey, hey, did you get a chance to talk to Larry yet? No, I need to go for like a more like manly tone because this guy has the muscles. My God. Hey, did you get a chance to talk to Larry yet? Yeah, I just spoke to him. We gotta go though. He's waiting on us. I'm gonna toast that bottle we brought. That's amazing. What are we? What are we you waiting for? This is the perfect opportunity to bring up that book you and Sam were working on. Do you think Sam will mind me pitching our book alone? I mean, I'd be kind of pissed if I was left out of the negotiations. You can worry about that later. If you don't get in there and butter him up now, you two will be drafting forever. I guess you're right, but we gotta make it happen first. Come on, you got the gift? Shit, we forgot to sign the card. Here, give it to me. I'll sign it first. Um... I don't know, um... We'll go with Jeff. Okay, my turn. Um... I don't know. <laughs> I'm not good with choosing names, I'm sure, uh... Sure... Malcolm. I have Survivor on the brain, my bad. Sincerely, Jeff and Malcolm. Let me see that for a second. Sounds perfect. Alright, Malcolm. Let's go. Wait, kiss me first. <laughs> Good luck. Here we go! Okay, so you pick the character that you find the most interesting to play as, and then you pick your love interests. That kind of plays into the whole, like, ethnicity, gender, and, um racial stuff, um... So, Larry, before we toast... I'm a guess. You got a book you wanted to pitch? Just hear me out. No need, Jeff. There's a reason I'm toasting with you. I've seen your stuff. You got talent, a lot of potential, but you're rough. I want to put in a good word with, with the boss. See if we can get you in advance. That's... That's crazy! Seriously, thank you so much! I'll get you something to show him in the morning. This is too exciting. Let's toast. To ambition. To success. To getting rich. I'll toast. To the future. It really didn't matter who set things in motion. The landslide had started long before that night. This version of the story needed a hero, though. Would this be the one? Yes. I'm not picky. <laughs>